Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. It's been a while since I made a video. You know, sometimes you just get, I don't know, man, you know, life. <laughs> life just comes at you real hard and you have so many things to do. And um, you just, I don't know, you just get busy. But it is what it is. Today, I just want to talk about cameras um, because recently a few cameras have come out. We have Canon releasing the R6 Mark II. We have Fuji coming out with like some really nice cameras. We also have Sony coming out with the A7 R5. And I just wanted to give my thoughts on cameras and how I feel like cameras are now boring. By the way, I just want you guys to know that this is my thoughts on these issues. This is my opinions. If you have um, a different, or these are my opinions. I mean, if you have a different opinion about this whole camera game bore or cameras game boring issue or thing, I don't know, thought that I have, then put it in the comments below. Let me know. You know what I mean? It's always nice we share you know whatever our thoughts are with other people or whatever our opinions are with other people that's the only way we learn that's the only way we grow right also i want you guys to know that i'm coming from a place of privilege you know i just want to say um so it's just out there because when i didn't have or when i had not used a lot of these cameras maybe these cameras looked really interesting to me and now that i've used them just don't seem that interesting to me anymore so i just want to put it out there because i've um I currently shoot with the r5 i shot with the r3 um i've shot with the a74 the a75 just came out oh sorry a7 r4 the a7 r5 just came out i haven't shot with that camera you know uh I've shot with like a fuji mirrorless i'm um, sorry a fuji medium format camera um I, I can't remember what what camera that was but yeah so i shot with like some pretty nice cameras and some pretty decent lenses right so i just want to put it out there like i'm coming from a place of privilege where i've been privileged enough to use some of these gear and gears and been privileged enough to be able to afford these gears um so just want to put it out there so anyways let's talk about cameras and why i feel like cameras are getting boring so i am a huge tech enthusiast um to the point that i wanted to actually start like a youtube channel talking about tech which is something that i'm still you know eventually going to do just talk about like the tech i love and you know like what i'm using so yeah i'm, I'm a huge tech enthusiast and in the last 10 to 12 years i have followed tech religiously for example um you can see how phones have moved from um the nokia 310s to the iphone 14s which can do practically everything like our computers 10 years ago could do and if, you know even more like the the profit, uh, processing power on these um devices are like crazy right and we also have like cars you know look at cars now you know um people are moving from your typical combustion engine cars to um electric vehicles you know we have the teslas we have the rivians um we have the the chevys um we have the ford f-150s you know we have uh, a lot of people actually buying these electric vehicles now if you look at bicycles because like i love bicycles um and you know e-bikes are like a thing now you know around the world and and, and that's like tech moving forward and tech moving that way you know um look at like when it comes to your home we have uh, your your google home you have all these things that just there to actually help you better um robot vacuums like tech is is advancing and it's the same way in the camera industry you know how tech has advanced advanced over the last 10 to 12 years for example we've moved from dslrs and almost everybody now is transitioning into mirrorless cameras you know i mean some people came in late canon icon <laughs> but you know everybody's making the the switch right now and it's been really exciting to see that switch right um for example when i started i started with a, a, um, a 60d and eventually got like a 6d a 5d mark 3 and then i moved mirrorless with the seven uh, sony a7 r3 you know and then i moved back to, to canon um there's been this amazing transition from um dslrs that were pretty pretty good cameras right but to mirrorless cameras that make things easier for you you know um you don't have to worry too much about auto focusing you know right now it just focuses for you picks out the eye you know all that stuff you know so the the revolution or the evolution i mean from dslrs to mirrorless has been welcomed by all of us photographers and we absolutely love it so why do i think cameras are boring right now why do i think cameras are getting boring and it's just that at this point everybody's doing the same thing you know like there's nothing that is different for example i own an r5 everything my camera can do 
the A7R4, the A7R5 can do, right? I mean, apart from like some tiny things that are like different from, you know, like let's say the Canon can shoot 8K and maybe, I don't know if the A7R4 could shoot 8K, but 8K you could argue is like a gimmick at this point because like it's it's specialty you know it's just for like some special people that want to shoot in 8k you know for the most part if you shoot in 1080 right now you're still good you know what i mean 4k is gold standard right now but if you shoot in 1080 1080p you're still good right then you know um there's just some things that like every camera has right now you know <laughs> which is like standard for example we have the you know you can shoot 4k if you 4k 60 you know if you need it you know um 1080p at 120 frames per second those are just video features right and i feel like that's what like a lot of these camera companies are pushing right now to just beef up their cameras um looking and feeling good right then for photography you know um we're looking at um you can shoot 20 frames per second <laughs> uh, mechanical and maybe like or 12 or 10 frames per second mechanical and you can shoot like 40 frames per second you know um <laughs> electronic you know like i mean the advancement in technology is amazing like i'm not saying that these cameras should not do these things i'm not saying that these cameras have not or and uh, you know I, or this camera is becoming better is boring i just feel like whatever you can get from one camera right now you can literally get from the other camera nothing really sets the camera industry or the cameras in the industry apart you know if you're looking for cameras that are different you have like the a7s3 that is different but that's like video focused and you know um they've moved that right now and uh, i think the fx3 and the fx30 you know I, I mean that's nice that's you know great for videographers but when it comes to photographers i don't think there's anything special out there for us right now i know fuji came out recent um i think one of their recent cameras i don't know what's called but it's kind of like more photography focused and you know i just feel like maybe um like we have the technology right now especially when it comes to like 100 frames per second you know and all that stuff maybe they should give us things that are different maybe make specialty cameras you know for example I'm a studio photographer. I don't think I need like 40 frames per second to shoot. You know, neither the, I don't think any wedding photographer needs 40 frames per second for anything, you know, except you are a sports shooter, right? Or maybe you shoot wildlife, then great, you know. But maybe cut down on those features and give us features that we really need. For example, um, if I take a picture with a 5D Mark III right now, and you take a picture with like an R5 and you put it out there, I don't think anybody will be able to tell the difference when it comes to the quality. Yes, you know, the ease of getting that photo right now is probably like better with the R5, but when it comes to quality, I don't think there's like any difference in what we are getting right now. If you compare the images from cameras that we had five to 10 years ago, maybe five, yeah. I'd say yeah, from 2012 when we had like the 5D Mark IIs or let's just say the 5D Mark IIIs um, to cameras that we have right now, I don't think there's any great gap in the image quality that we're getting right now, to be very honest, you know. Um, we had cameras like the Nikon D750 that had an amazing dynamic range, right? And there are cameras that are coming out right now, and I'm not going to call any names that, their dynamic range is still not as good as dynamic range on the D750. So, I mean, right now you can go out, get a camera for like a decent price, to be very honest, a used camera and stick with it. Because, you know, if you look at the law of diminishing returns, you get to a place where the price to quality ratio that you're getting becomes like really low. For example, if you're spending $2,000 on a camera right now and you decide to go and spend an extra $3,000 to get like a $5,000 camera, you'd really not be able to tell like, that much difference in image quality like i said this is just my thought process i just feel like cameras right now again like really boring because it's like the same thing over and over again you know maybe give us something different work on a camera that has like amazing dynamic range work on a camera that has something that has to do with the sensor even though it's back illuminated you know like a sensor that's like way better than any other thing that you ever put out you know um work on a camera that's photography focused you know work on a camera that's videography focused like that has some certain things that kind of like are for some certain people for example i'm buying a camera right now that's like five or six thousand dollars like i don't need more than half the features in that camera to be very honest you know and if you need those features then you know go ahead you know it's all yours go ahead and, and get those things but for the most part i feel like 
right now is just a race to get as much features as they can into cameras instead of like just trying to work on some specific features that might make a camera different or more exciting or you know just make a camera less boring but yeah you know somebody can tell you go get a sony go get like a nikon go get a canon by the end of the day to be very honest like these cameras literally have all the same features in them right now nothing stands out from like the other person like a lot of these cameras used to have you know before i remember there was a time that you know like for the Sonys, it was that they had 4K, you know, so if you wanted like 4K videos, you go with the Sonys. Just a time that if you wanted to shoot like videos um, or, you know, if you wanted a certain look, you know, you go with the Canons. Just a time that, you know, if you, I don't know, if you wanted this, you go with Nikon. But right now, it's just like everybody does the same thing. So, <laughs> and we YouTubers will always tell you, hey, you know, go with this, go with that, go with that, whatever. Anyways, that's just my thought process on this. I mean, you know, it's nothing like extremely organized you know i'm not here saying like you should put this or put that or put that in the camera you know for me i just feel like hey you know cameras are not like as interesting as they used to be anymore <sighs> maybe someone should come up with something put an ssd in the camera you know like these cameras should come with like internal storage i know like maybe like a million format camera has done that before but hey you know just asking you know come out with like a camera that uh maybe the raw file is just it's like it's, it's just a lot better than like the raw files that we have right now i don't know maybe you can get more information maybe like we should switch from um a typical what they call that to global shutters and all that i don't know just come up with something different i don't know something that's going to like blow my mind because right now i just look at every camera that comes out and they're literally all the same features and just tell us that you know right now if you turn around they can focus at the back of your head <laughs> I mean, like I said, technology is nice. It's good to have these features, but maybe something a lot more interesting. Hopefully, hopefully, when maybe next year a camera comes out, it's going to be just 10 times more interesting than the cameras that we have right now. Hopefully. But anyways, hey, man, you got a camera, you might as well just stick to it right now because it can do everything. And, you know, if you're looking at buying a, a new camera, maybe just check the used market. But hey, you know, if you got the money, bruh, and you're like me and you're interested in tech, and you love having the latest stuff, especially when it comes to like photography and all that. Man, go out there, splunge, bro. Spend your money. Get whatever you need to get. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more talking head videos on some certain topics because right now, I don't feel like... I don't have a lot of time to go out and shoot right now. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back in the field pretty soon. But for now, you know, your boy's in school. So, gotta like study. But, anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, let me know in the comments below, man. Like, I like to talk to you guys, man. Just put a comment down. Let me know what you think about cameras getting boring and, and if they are, and you know, or if you are like still really interested in, you know, camera um, releases and, and, and all that stuff. But, yeah, man, thank you so much for watching today's video, man. Still remain the one and only Prince Mason. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace out.